Hello, my name is Dr. Chloe Wilson. I'm a senior medical editor and cardiology ambassador at The Lancet. Hello, I'm Fabio Janalwis. I am a senior editor and cardiology ambassador for The Lancet. We've been at ACC this weekend and it's just wrapping up, which means it's time for the editor highlights. I think for me, the GLP-1 agonists have still been a really hot topic of the conference. And in my opinion, the two major studies that have been presented are SOL and STRIDE. Yeah, so Sol was looking at um, oral semaglutide in people with high risk diabetes and showed it actually improved cardiovascular outcomes. And then Stride was in people with peripheral arterial disease and it actually increased their maximal walking distance with semaglutide. Um, I've seen some interesting AI studies, particularly looking at those diagnosing myocardial infarction in the emergency department. And I've been really impressed with the a number of sessions for early career physicians, mm -hmm. focusing on things like social media, as well as um, topics like burnout and bullying. So it's been a really great uh, sessions, I think. How about for you? Absolutely, no, I thought it was an excellent program, really comprehensive, lots of interesting tracks. Uh, really good to see some things in the interventional area. Uh, really good to see smart choice free. I thought that was useful data for long-term strategies for antibiotic therapy. Uh, also, Protect Stavi, which was interestingly neutral, but still there's something there quite interesting about better identification of stroke risk, so something to watch out for. Also really good to see a lot of new agents for this lipidemia. Uh, very exciting, the alpaca trial with the lipodiziran. Really great results for cardiac risk reduction, especially for genetic risk factor. And also so Bizaran, so a different target there. Um, it will be instead of lipoprotein A, but great results. I think really in a new era for the epidemia drugs. And of course, we just launched, launched the Lancet Commission on Coronary Artery Disease. So it is um, very ins inspiring to see. We're very happy to have done that at ACC 25. And I do hope it will, you know, inspire um, lots of positive change. And I cannot wait to see what ACC 26 will bring. Me too. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the content from the Lancet.